Hi there guys, Blackflows here and today we have the second episode of Mob Counter, a series where I show you the first 20 kills of a possible MOAB and you guys have to guess the outcome. If you're new to this series, I'd suggest you to either watch the first episode or to read the description of the video. What you're watching right now is the outcome of the first match. As many of you guessed, I didn't get the MOAB for only one kill, but as you'll see in a few seconds, not only didn't die, but the match wasn't even finished. Yeah, that was pretty annoying when it happened. Anyways, the first one to guess the outcome was uh, Pro Gamer's Call of Duty. His channel will be in the description. And remember, if you want to try and guess the outcome of this episode, you don't know the rules and you don't want to watch the first episode, simply read the description of the video. So, today we're playing a free for all match in mission and I'm not sure why I was using the ACR, but it's definitely not a very good choice if you want to rush in this map. In fact, this just slowed down my gameplay a lot, but that's not what I want to talk about in this episode. Last time, you guys suggested me to talk about the lag compensation because it's a tricky mechanic of the game and you guys probably wanted to know a little bit more about it. So, the lag compensation is a game mechanic that tries to balance out the connection of a lobby so that no one is at a disadvantage. What most people don't know is that the lag compensation was also present in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. The difference with Modern Warfare 3 is that they made it a lot stronger. Now, theoretically, having something that balances out the connections is definitely a good thing, but at the same time, something as complex as the lag compensation doesn't always get it right, and when that happens, shit happens. And that's the reason they didn't make it that strong in the previous titles. Apparently, Infinity War thought that they were ready enough to implement a more complex version of it. God, if they were wrong. Well, and now you're probably thinking, okay, okay, but how does this lag compensation actually affect me? And to that I have a really simple answer. Have you guys ever been in a situation where you shoot someone, you die, you watch the kill cam and it doesn't show you shooting at all? If you haven't, chances are you simply didn't notice, because that's pretty common. So, for that, we usually blame the lag, but in reality, lag is not always the one to be blamed. For example, let's say you have a 3 bar connection and you face someone with a 2 bar connection. If the lag compensation decides that the difference between your connections is too high, it will give you a little bit of lag to make it fair for the guy with the 2 bar connection, but if the lag compensation makes a mistake, it could give you more lag than you actually deserve, thus making your gunfight nearly impossible to win. The lag compensation will delay the time it takes to your bullets to reach your opponent and it could also make it so that you don't see your opponent until his connection allows him to see you. Most of the times, the game only has a split second to make all the calculations and predictions and this obviously leads to mistake. Not only that, many times you will actually be able to notice the lag compensation coming into play because the game will freeze for a fraction of a second just before a gunfight. This is a little bit harder to notice but believe me, it's there. And now comes the worst part, to decrease the amount of calculations and predictions that the poor lag compensation has to make, many times the lag compensation will worsen all the connection for lobby until he's happy with the overall balance. Let me make an example to explain this a little bit better. Let's say you're in a lobby with 12 players and let's say 11 players have 4 bar connections and one player only has 2 bar connections. The lag compensation could decide to turn all the 4 bar connections into 3 bar connections. Now, you could think it's fair, but that way you're actually making level people lag instead of just one player who probably doesn't even care about this score and was downloading stuff on the internet. So, if you're wondering why Modern Warfare 3 is way more laggy than its previous titles, here's the reason. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and remember, if you want to try and guess if I get the MOB or not, read the description of the video. And that's all, see you guys.